Hello, my name is Robert Howden. I'm currently looking for a mechanical design position. I'm living in Sun City West, Arizona, but I am available for relocation, uh, hence the video. I think it, I, I would want to do this just to give a potential employer uh, a little chance to see me and, and may, maybe get a better idea of who I am. So I'm gonna discuss my background and experience uh, as quickly as I can here. Uh, I just recently uh, worked for Oshkosh Corporation, uh, particularly Oshkosh Defense for the last nine years. Uh, I left Oshkosh because uh, a relationship ended, I sold two homes, and my family is in Arizona. So I didn't really want to do another winter in Wisconsin, so I decided to move out to Arizona. And now I'm currently looking for work. So. Uh, my background there, I worked for the Cab and Capsule Group. Uh, we, the cab, it, all for military vehicles, uh, specifically the JLTV vehicle, which is the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. Um, it's a modular vehicle, which means it, it kind of gets all put together, top, side, bottom, back. Uh, we were responsible for that. And anything that came into the cab or inside the cab, we were responsible for. So seating, air conditioning, um, we worked uh, directly with uh, the armor group, with the hydraulic and pneumatic group, the chassis group, the drivetrain drive group. Always, anytime anybody wanted to add anything near the cab or on the cab, we had to make sure it didn't run into any of our parts. I did a lot of uh, sheet metal design uh, and weldments. Also, some injection molding design. Uh, they always wanted us to get the vehicle as light as possible, so we're always thinking of different ways to get the, the vehicle lighter. So we used a, ended up using a lot of plastic, which saved us on weight. So uh, some injection molding design. Um, uh, besides uh, Oshkosh Truck, before that I worked for Kohler Company. I worked for Kohler Power Systems at first. Uh, the reason that I, I left there is because uh, the recession hit and because I was the least, had the least amount of experience there or, or seniority there, I, I was laid off from there. Several months later, they brought me back to the design center and I worked for the flush valve um, department where I designed and um, assembled small parts for flush valves. The reason I left there is just because a direct position at Oshkosh became available. Before that, I did some contracting work, um, a year at Harley-Davidson, a year at Stratech, which is part of, was part of Briggs & Stratton, uh, a lot of large assembly and um, sheet metal design and um, also just uh, small part uh, product creation. So. Um, I, I didn't really care for contracting so much. Uh, I did want to. I do like working for larger companies, um, but uh, I tried out contracting for a while. Before that, I worked for Rockwell Automation for approximately eight years. Uh, I, I was a contractor there for a while, then I got hired directly. I worked for the Configured Drives Group, uh, where we housed electrical components, transformers, um, uh, bus bars. Uh, electrical panels and we I was in charge of the sheet metal design of the enclosures that house these drives. Um, before that I worked for ABB which was also one of their competitors of Rockwell Automation and actually ABB is on the floor as an assembler assembling electrical panels and transforms into these drives. So that's about my work experience. I probably have 10 to 12 years of Pro-E experience or Creo experience, um, Windchill experience, which is their data management system. I also worked on JDE, which is another data management system. Um, I have some CATIA experience, uh, slight, a little bit of SolidWorks, but uh, most of my um, experience is in Pro-E or Creo. So uh, I have a... Uh, uh, as far as my schooling, I have an associate's degree in mechanical design from Waukesha County Technical College in Waukesha, Wisconsin. I've done, a, I have a lot of certifications through uh, when I was at all these, all my former employ, employers because, uh, you know, they have you go through classes and get certifications. So I have basic and advanced GD&T, um, a lot of like 
uh, sheet metal design, assembly design classes or certifications. So um, as far as my hobbies and things I like to do, um, I like to film uh, video and edit video as much as I can. Um, I, I'm pretty passionate about jiu-jitsu. I've competed in the world championships the last few years. Uh, I've kind of taken a break from that, but uh, I, I enjoy mountain biking, uh, kayaking and canoeing, and backpacking. Uh, so uh, other than that, if there's more that you want to know about me, you can probably find on this website more detailed description of my duties at most of my uh, former employee, employers. So uh, take a look at that and uh, hopefully we, we'll talk soon. Thank you.